What we're trying to do today is, is kind of focus on, on a little problem that we all have with uh, maybe our clients. Uh, we've done the complete haircut, we've done shear work, uh, continued on in, in this side lays real nice and let's say this side over here has like a little curl in through here and maybe has a little bit of a curl back in this position back in through here when he's got long hair and he's got a little bit of a curl back here and he wants it kind of straightened out a little bit and the concentration up here with the uh, with the curl so how do we get to that that problem. You can't get it with a shear, you can't get it with your clippers, and you can't get it with a thinning shear. So what we're trying to, to, to show you is the use of our razors and why it's so important to have these tools that you need uh, in order to create your artwork. You have to look at yourself and, and see the amount of tools and, that you need to be able to be doing this type of work. So the gentleman has this little curl up in through here like this. Well, how do we get to it? Okay, so put a little blade glide on there. Okay, so how do we get to this little curl up here? We want it to lay flat, lay down on this head like so, but you can't take the bulk out of it. You gotta maintain the bulk because if you cut this too short, this side's not going to match. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this plane right in through here like so. You're working with the planes the same way as you would if you were cutting this hair. You still bring it back, you come in and you kind of section it off and what you're going to do is you're going to take that razor and come in and just kind of go through it like this. Just real nice and easy. So what happens, you're bringing that like this so it will lay back, okay? Forward to make it lay back, okay? Same principle back in here. But what I wanna show you, why this will lay down. So when the hair folds back, you still have that fullness. You didn't, you didn't go in there and, and cut it out, but what you did, let's visualize this, okay? You've just cut this with the shear, so now it's flat, okay? Shear makes a flat cut. Even though you cut it, it's a 45 over here, it's still flat, okay? So what we're trying to do to alleviate that little problem with the curl is what we've done in essence is we've taken the hair and pulled it forward, okay? We've pulled it forward, and now we're shaving that hair just shaving it. You can't dig into it. You can't go in there with like a 30 degree angle, which is a 30 degree, or the 10, or the uh, 10 degree, or a 45, because then you're going to take the bulk out of it. Out. You'll take that bulk out of the, uh, out of that area. So this is a real difficult one to create. It's just a, a slight little bit of the hand motion kind of dragging it uh, across the, the hair, not dragging it, I should say dragging it, kind of slicing it back, sliding it. It's like peeling an orange, okay? You're peeling an orange. Okay, you were watching the tool and watching what I was doing here, but what you weren't watching was my hands and how I was holding that, that razor, okay? So you're in like this. So you're just sliding it across, kind of just chipping away, sliding it across. Okay, how do you get to that point, all right? The word is practice, and if you don't have the practice, you're gonna mess up. So then you come in and you just practice. Sliding that. And you notice how the, the, the tool is, is, is in what angle the tool is. It's not dragging it down like this because now you're going doom, 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 doom down. So what you want to do is just slide it. See how I'm sliding? Just like this. 
And what will happen is that you'll have your tools will last you a little bit longer, and that's what the thing is all about, having a sharp tool to work properly. And that's what you need to do.